recruits! Recruits! Where are my recruits? Uh, hi. Where are my recruits, Dennis? The recruits have asked me to deliver the following message. Ahem. <clears throat> sir, dear Major Oswald, sir. We, the soldiers of home base, are very afraid of you. That's fine. And we are now in hiding. Please consider chilling out. Dictated but not read, frightened soldiers. So... So... what? Do you have any thoughts you'd like to share with the soldiers at this time? Yes. Get out there and fight! Now! Take out some husks. And you should do a really good job. And you should not make eye contact with the major for a while. Possibly, maybe never again. Strike hard, strike fast, strike fear into the heart of the horde. Don't forget, the storm is closing in, so watch the map. One died of second-hand embarrassment. If that's the best we can do, we surrender. Hear that, Storm? We give up! I'd hope to wage a winning war against the forces of evil, but apparently, we're not up for the task. Are you booing us or the husks? Everyone, but especially you. You call that husk fighting? We call it whatever you call it. Stand up for yourself, man. I am too nervous to stand up for myself. Then calm down, dummy. Kind of hard at the moment. Close your eyes and visualize a pleasant clearing in the woods. Do I have to? Yes, and do it right. Babbling brook, sparrows, clover, maybe some deer. Uh-huh. Why aren't you calm yet? Yeah, who knows why this isn't working. Run to safety, Dennis. There's no such thing as safety. I know, but just run. I can do that. Come on, Lars, everyone else said no. Which is why I specifically asked you to always ask me first. Please? The Major and I have nothing in common. Yes, but when you're on a mission, your van is very far away from home base and please. Fine, but I can't fix him. Honestly, even an hour without getting drill sergeanted would be enough. You know, if you decided to fly your van over the horizon and into the zone of no return, I would be forever grateful. Thanks, Ray. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But if you did, we'd get an internal flame in your honor. A statue. You, uh, feel like a horse statue man or a chair statue man? Horse, but I'm not flying to my doom to save you a confrontation. That's a real chair sculpture answer, Lars. Ah, uh, chair sculpture. All right, I'll get the antenna ready. <sighs> and I will go throw some raw meat and back issues of Disgruntled Loner Magazine into your van. Please don't. It's either that or calling him, and please don't make me call him. Grab it. 
You've got 10 minutes to grab anything you need. But watch out, the storm's closing in. You'll take damage in the storm, so stay moving and watch your map. Bonus objectives are in play. The name of the game is Antennas. Nope, do it again. Sorry, what now? Introduce the mission properly. Okay. Commander, our signals have been spotty lately, and, uh... What are you, writing a novel over there? Commander, deploy Antennas. You couldn't do that the first time? Apparently, I could not. Hey! Nice work! You call that nice work? It's not perfect, but it'll do. It'll do? There's no such thing as it'll do in my vocabulary. There's perfection and there's failure. Oh, you're lucky I'm here. Am I? Extremely. Now keep your eyes on the road. On the road? We're above the clouds. Did I ask for excuses? You did not. Are you going to accept that? Let's see. Signal efficiency is 80%. Yeah, I'll take that. I thought you were a scientist. I am a scientist. 80% scientist. Come on, man. What do you use? The scientific method? Is, is that an insult? Yeah, Flash Jockey, it is. I don't get it. Method? Don't get it. Write it down! M-E-H... What? Dash T-H-O-D. There is no way that insult works in spoken language. Well, good thing you wrote it down, then. <sighs> right in the path of a major husk thoroughfare. Real smart. I just need to let you know that I will crash this van. Are you sure you're capable? I've done it many times. Tell me something that isn't painfully obvious. All right. That is officially all I can handle. What are you doing? Crashing the van. You call this crashing? Oh my god. Really? Just blow something up. Nice work, Commander. Why are you paying attention to the commander? You're supposed to be crashing. I am. You haven't even picked a target. I did. It's called the ground. Oh, you can't find a mountain? Or a lake of molten lava? Are we near a lake of molten lava? You're the driver. I'm going to step outside for a moment. are going crazy. I stepped out for some fresh air. At 10,000 feet? Yep, and I stand by the decision. So it's not going well, is it? It is not. You're gonna get back in the van, right? Only if I never ever have to go on another mission with major rage issues again. I can't promise that. But I will see what I can do about the constant man tantrums. Okay, but I'm still crashing the van on principle. That is your right, and I support it. 
So, how was the mission, Major? The periodic table of soft landings over here crashed us into a spongy bog. My airbag didn't even deploy. Okay, that is seriously disappointing. It is not a proper crash without the airbags. My day is ruined. Speaking of ruining days... You are ruining everyone's life. I'm fine with that. Okay, the thing is, though, that I'm not... You've gotta knock it off with the toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity? My masculinity is far from toxic. Gotta love the rugged, classics! Distinguished. It is pleasing to the eye and smells like well-worn leather and responsibility. Okay, that last part is actually true, Check but you still out. gotta knock it all the way off forever. I'm just being me. Well, then, you are That's no me. longer welcome at home base. The Major I used to know, though, is always welcome. So you have a choice to make. All right, then. Goodbye. What, what, maybe think it over. Or just keep on walking. <sighs> Uh, I hate seeing him go, but I love watching him leave. Okay, interesting. Well, I mean, he was a nightmare, but it wasn't always this way. Dennis, the expression, I hate to see you leave, but I love to watch you go, that's about butts. No, it's not. Very much so, yes it is, it's about butts. Irrefutably, it's about butts. Huh? Oh. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, I've been using it so much! Yeah, you should stop. But, you're right. It wasn't always this way. Yeah, I used to like the guy. What happened? I mean, I'm no psychologist, but is it possible he bonked his brain? No, his criticisms are too keenly observed. But I've seen this before, back when I was defending my thesis. It's stress. We're all stressed. Yeah, but some people never learn how to ask for help. And they get lost. So what do we do? We find a way to remind him of who he was. <gasps> I know how to do that. Gear up, you're going on a mission. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Incoming! Welcome to the team, Commander. We're searching for survivors. I don't know what you're used to, but out here, we take care of each other. Everyone pulls their weight, and everyone comes home. All right, show me what you can do. Survivor in danger! I'm impressed. Another one. You. Okay, what gives, Ray? Whatever do you mean? The commander here does not need training. I mean, three survivor rescues this fast? Something's not right here. Even professionals need remedial combat training? Uh-huh. Don't buy it. Life saved! Perfect rescue. Whoa. 
Always help! Oh man, no one's gonna believe this. You saved Good me. save. Thanks. So, what's the real story? I need your help. Anytime. You could have just asked. I needed to make sure you hadn't become some weird monster. What makes you think that would happen? Because the Major is a weird monster now. Major Oswald? Yeah. The Major Oswald who taught me everything I know? Yeah. And who sends me cards that say, I'm proud of you, every year on the anniversary of my graduation. Yeah. No way. I'm sorry, Val. It's true. So, what do you want me to do? I don't know. But he's always been so proud of who you've become. You know, maybe you can help him get over whatever's going on. If he needs me, I'm there. <sighs> Thank you, Val. Word of warning, he's awful now and he's probably going to be a big old jerk. Thanks for the warning. I'll prepare accordingly. Okay, I can see why he likes you. I called about 50 times. I did as much sky riding as my stomach could handle. And I put it out there in the universe. And nothing. If he could just hear my voice. <gasps> That's a great idea, Val. Seriously, good thinking, Val. Yeah, super good idea, Val. Great thinking. You're so special. Dennis? I do not have what it takes to manage a jealousy side plot right now. But... Nope. Sort out your emotions. I haven't gotten a compliment in three weeks. Sort them! Okay, sorted. Nice work, Dennis. And I like what you've been doing with your hair. Thanks, Ray. I really needed that. And it's called not brushing. And you know what, Val? That was a good idea. I'll prepare the recording equipment. You think of what you want to say. And we're rolling. This message is for Major Oswald. You may not remember me, but a few years ago, you changed my life. And I'd really like it if you came home. There's so much I want to talk to you about. Yep, that's a keeper, right out the gate. We're gonna get some coverage for safety, but you can't improve on perfection. Whenever you're ready. Sir. I don't know if you can hear me, but I really hope you can. You have people here who care about you so much, and they want to help. Okay, all right, um, we'll find it. Don't stress, we will get there. Do you want a five? I'm good. Hey, yeah, 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 let's all take a five. Um, it's for us, not you. You're killing it. But maybe take the five to find the beating heart of what you're trying to say. I guess I'll go stretch my legs. Hey, you know your process. I'm just the director. Okay, really great work. The whole team really loves what you're doing. Maybe this time, though, you could be mindful of pace. Pace? Yeah, 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 you're killing it, but just like energy, you know? Okay. Major Oswald. Really pop that energy. Major Oswald! Yes! Come see me at home base. Uh, we say home base. Home base! Good, good, good. Now all together from the top. Major Oswald! Come see me at home base! That's the one. We got it. Yes! Okay, let's do one wild one. Whatever you want to do, just go nuts. I don't know what that means. Don't let us get in your way. Bring your vision, really make it yours. Hi. 
Good start, but really dig in. It's me, Val. Don't be afraid to really break out and go for it. You know my number. Give me a call. Oh, jeez. Let's take five. Target located. Drop the Atlas on the target when you're ready. Okay, for this one, I want you to think about who Val is, you know? Can I do one for me? Sure, I mean, we are on the clock, but if that's gonna help... Oh, it will. Take it away, Val. Hey, it's me. Even if you never respond, never come home again, I want you to know that every sunrise I've seen, every sunset, every friend I've made, Every joke that made me laugh. Every song that made me cry. All those moments are mine because you gave me my life back. The storm took everything. More than I ever thought I could stand losing. But I made it through. And I made it because of you. And I'd like to see you again. Really nice. Really, really nice. Thanks. Hey, Lars, uh, no need to save that one. We're going to go with take three. Great work, everyone. Think we did it. It's good to see you, Val. You got my message. It was very enthusiastic. Ugh, take five was better. You've got your friends worried enough to track me down. What's going on? I don't know. Well, I think you do. Thing is, I don't. I'm just frustrated. I've seen this before. You, my friend, need to get some action. I don't know if I want to discuss that just now. In the field. When's the last time you went on patrol? Not since the, uh, incident with the IED. Let's change that. There's just, uh, one problem with your plan, Val. You're out of shape? I am clearly shredded for a man my age. Shredded? I stand by it. It's, uh, it's the hand. It's not the hand. It's the prosthetic. It's not the most functional. But Locke made it for me, and he was very proud. Did he explain the cutlery? Apparently it's some sort of joke. Maybe we can make you something a little more functional for when you're in the field. All right, but stick close to the design. Locke will be crushed if I change it. Terrible choice, but whatever gets you out there. Okay, Commander. We need some steel, and we need some circuits. Lead the way. So you really think this is what I need? Remember what you told me in training? I remember telling you to do laps. Still do them. That's weird, but good for you. When I was nervous about my first mission, you said, when you looked at me, you saw a soldier. Not just someone who signed up to carry a gun. I was right. Yeah, well, it takes one to know one. I found another problem with your plan. It's been a while since I've been out there. I'm beyond rusty. Without my hand, I'm not going to be the soldier I once was. Then be the soldier you are now. I'll be a liability. No, you'll be part of a team. In my unit, we take care of each other. Your unit? I figured since I outrank you, it'd be my unit. Remember what else you always said during training? If you want it... <laughs> Earn it. You know the way. All that's left is the marching. Five minutes left. Storm's closing in. I'm excited to get back out in the field, but I don't know if that's going to fix everything. It won't, but there is nothing better than helping someone else. Is that so? Yeah, it's good for you. And sometimes, the people you help show up and return the favor. We're getting close. 
I'm, uh, actually getting nervous. Mister, I've got ice water in my veins is nervous? I'm nervous every time I go in the field. Really? Really. You could have told me that back when I was a nervous mess. Oh, I doubt that would have been reassuring. Recruits, my name is Major Oswald, and I will be your drill instructor. One thing you should know about me is that I am very scared, and I don't want to die or get hurt. I know you're joking, but that would have done it for me. It's nice to know you're not alone. Closing in, so watch the map. Bonus objectives are in play. Nice shot. It was luck. Good. We like luck. Now that wasn't luck. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. There it is. Oh, it's coming back to me. How are you feeling? Uh, I forgot about the tasting pennies thing. Wow, that's the adrenaline. It's a lot all at once. My hands are shaking. Yep. I hate it. Yep. Why did I want to do this? I can't answer that. Me either. We've got wounded in the field. I need you to clear a path for the med team. You got it. All right, Major, this is the real thing. Let's do it. Got one! It's still too crowded for the med team. Keep at it. Roger that. Just a few more. Shoot! Guns jammed. The rest is up to you. Sure. Guns jammed. It is. This is a classic confidence-building technique. It's also what happens when you use ammo you find in a bush. Finish the job. Another one down. Keep it up. Got him. We're almost there. Ah. Huh, that's it. Med team, you are clear to move. Advance team, bring it in. Nice work out there, Major. Fall in! It's too early. Too late. Too something. It's noon. Gross. It has come to my attention that over the last few weeks, I have been insufferable. Some say I have been unkind. Some say I have been downright cruel. And to that I say, I am sorry. Since everything changed, life has been difficult. And recently I found myself not up to the task. And even though I have failed you, I hope you will one day forgive me. Thank you for sticking with me. And thank you, Val, for reminding me of how good it feels to help those in need. As a token of my gratitude, each of you will find exactly one present in the field. Apology complete. Get ready for a fight. We've got ten minutes to take out as many husks as possible. If you bag enough husks, we win. If you don't, we don't. Don't forget to collect those husk and mist monster samples. So, what's in the box? Only one way to find out. Strike hard, strike fast, strike fear into the heart of the horde. Don't forget, the storm is closing in, so watch the map. We've got updated objectives. We've got creepers husking all over the place, but keep an eye out for encampment. Aw, it's a t-shirt. Oh my God, that is a, <laughs> that's a lot of writing. Like borderline too much writing. And all of the fonts. The guy at the store said they're very popular. I wrote it, if you want to see what it says. Okay. <clears throat> um. My name is Ray, and yes, I am a robot, and yes, my friend bought me this t-shirt. 
And he is a major, but he also makes mistakes sometimes, but he's very sorry. And he's thankful that he has good friends. Oh, that's sweet. There's more on the back. Right. Why wouldn't there be? Um, okay. Um, and I'd never say it myself, but I inspire everyone in home base. And... No, I will not let this wordy shirt make me cry. Pull together, right? And thanks to me, home base is a shining light in a dark world. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, all right. I love wordy shirts. Yes, my name is Dennis, and you know I love burgers. And you better believe I love french fries, but I also understand the importance of a balanced diet. And yes, I've traveled through time, and yes, I've foreseen the exact details of my own death. Oh, I love it. There's more on the back. I, I don't know why, but I find that upsetting. Me too, but the guy at the store assured me that it is not upsetting. Oh, well, he's the expert. Let's see, flipping it over. And yes, I am a ninja. And yes, Major Oswald is very proud of me. Thank you. Thank you, son. Found mine. I, uh, had to do some guessing on yours. Yes, my name is Lars and I live in a van maybe and I might be a scientist. I'm not sure what my favorite things are, maybe science flasks and experiments. But I'm a good friend, even though I'm bad at crashing vans. Flip it over. Which should be easy. What's up with that? Thank you, Major. Thank you, Lars. I guess this one's mine. What's it say? My name is Val, and I was there when my friend needed me. And yes, long ago, I wasn't sure if I had what it takes. But now the strength I've found is an inspiration to everyone I meet. And yes, Major Oswald got me this shirt. And yes, he will be forever grateful I came into his life. This is the ugliest shirt I've ever seen. And I love it more than you could possibly know. There's more on the back. <laughs> okay, that really is upsetting. I'll talk to the guy. When we have each other, we can do anything. Thank you. one too. We'll read it for you. Yes, I'm the commander, and that means that I'm in charge. And yes, I'm friends with a robot, and a sky scientist, and a dentist, and more people than I can count. And yes, the world is full of monsters. And that's okay. Because without the monsters, we wouldn't know that we can be heroes. And that's what we are. Anytime we fight for the people who need us. Thank you, Commander, for everything.